Alright, alright, alright. What the hell is going on, everybody? We've got Psystorm Gaming's Max Packs in the bottom left of the map. And Dark. Who's Dark playing for? Talon. Talon Esports Dark in the top right side of the map. Dark is going to go for a hatch first on post youth. A map which earlier today Max Max vetoed in his first game against me. And now he's letting it through and playing it every game. After I told him, you're silly. This map's great for Protoss. It's really hard to defend this gold as Zerg. And uh, getting a gold, uh, semi-gold base in your main for free is amazing for Protoss. And he was like, mm, maybe. Two series in a row now since then. He's let Post Youth into the final three maps. It is a semi-finals, by the way. ESL NA number 221. In the last time against Wayne, he tried to take the gold as his third base to counteract the third base gold of the Zerg. I don't know if that's necessary, and I feel like it's pretty dangerous against a guy like Dark, even though I love Oracles and Blink Stalkers on this map because there is some really nice terrain where you can defend and micro around, you can blink up and down cliffs, and there's all these like weird choke points and paths. I do think it gets a little bit scary against a guy like Dark, who is famous for basically just throwing the kitchen sink at his opponent. He goes for crazy all-ins every single time. Nexus in the bottom right side. I didn't actually look at the predictions for seeing who, who bet who would win. Last few times Max Max played Dark. Dark looked like he didn't stand much of a chance in best of threes. That being said, the last few times they played in big tournaments, Dark destroyed Max Max. So I kind of feel like it, it often comes down to like, hey, how well prepared is Dark? You know, how focused is he? He's pulled off cast, but he's forgot to start Ling Speed. He's also not sent to drone to his third. And on a gold base map, you have so many minerals, guys. Dark's build order is looking a little bit like a dark build order. Forgets his overlord on 24. So he's supply blocked here. His third's going down when he's at over 400 minerals. Okay, and he still hasn't started link speed. Interesting. Now, to be fair, there's no chrono on the warp gate, so you don't really need the early link speed. He even there starts it, cancels it, says, no, I'll just make an early third queen. But uh, definitely a little slower on the early drones than it could be. As it is, though, it will resemble a normal hatch gas pool build order. He's going to break the rocks on the low ground and then defend. He's also mining open a second path from the left. I'm not sure why he's doing that. I think it's just, hey, I'll put a drone on this so I don't have to think about doing it later. I just want to open this up to make sure I don't get like force fielded into my main or something silly later on. Oracle on the way, second gateway as well. A lot of players full wall this map, actually. They build a pylon gate, cybercore, and then they open this up to get out. But it's hard to then wall off behind that choke point because obviously it's on a ramp. So I think it is better to do what Max Pax has done here. And he's going for gold again. Dude, that is so greedy. He's taking the gold base. Dark's taking the normal base. I mean, this is going to make Dark really want to press for the all in. But Max Max, I mean, for those who don't know, so so I was saying it just before, but those if this ends up being a banger series, maybe we'll go to YouTube. So so we, we might might as well fill you guys in. Max Max said he's literally never played a PvZ on this map before because he doesn't like the new map, so he just vetoed it. <laughs> I told him I think it's really good for PvZ, even if it's not great versus Terran. And he's he's trying it out, but I can't imagine he's gonna be very well refined at defending Darks all ins on these maps. We'll see how well he adapts. I mean Max Max is a very high level player, but when you're playing Dark. One of the greatest Zergs of all time. It's very tough. Okay, nice fast fourth base is a good idea. You always want a fast fourth if you've got some gold minerals mining because you just need to keep that production up. And Dark's actually doing a very good job of keeping up his uh, his overlords. And good pullback. Oh, he does pull behind the minerals, unfortunately, presenting two drones there. Whereas if he pulled them to that top mineral patch, they would have got out. Ooh, get some damage. Max Pax almost loses an Oracle. Does get out. He's going four gate blink, no forge. Upgrades are not important against dark. It's getting enough units to actually hold on and not die. So I think a very wise choice there. Now he's already saturated on all three mineral lines as fully as he can be. Getting up a ton of gateways just to be safe is probably the biggest priority. So I actually, I, I do like his priorities. I, I think Max Pack's build makes a lot of sense. Adept shading into the third, but they cancel it. Clears a bit of creep just to slow Dark down. Dark's only up two workers and the income. Somehow ahead for Dark. I'd love to know how. Hmm. I guess he's just a bit undersaturated, like only barely saturated on the main and the natural, but so is Dark. 
Dark just had a few extra workers oversaturated on his third, and I guess that just gave him a little bit of extra minerals, but they're very close. As he transfers to his gold, he should take a bit of a worker lead. That is a fourth base now up and mining for Dark. Very early in this game. Stalkers pressuring the front. Blink's not quite ready. That's okay. The Stalker Adept Oracle will fight very well here on the front line. Oracles did turn their laser on, so their energy is not looking too high right now. Doesn't want to go too far forward and get surrounded. Nice shade cancel at the last second. And he just wants to occupy. Like I said, this area is really hard to defend against Blink because all these choke points are very awkward. I kind of wish the gateway was back over here, though. I think it's too far forward on that top left, and Dark will take advantage. As you can see, Ling's in the top left going after it, but the Queens are falling. Queens are starting to go down. Oracles are going to try and defend that pylon. And he's already sending a new probe across to replace the pylon in the top left. All the queens are going down. Oh, God. This is looking really bad for Dark right now. This is... Oh, my God. I, I shouldn't have told Naxprax that this map's good for Protoss. He would have kept it vetoed. <laughs> he's destroying. Two for two. Two games in a row. I've seen him destroy on this map and look unstoppable. It's a really good build order. And he's doing it so smooth. Last time he did a Glaive Adept pressure. This time he just went straight to Blink. Fourth base is on the way. There are Banelings getting ready to roll in. These guys aren't too heavily stacked, though. Only 10 workers on minerals. So, you know, yeah, you could kill some workers. It's not going to be game-ending damage. That being said, Maxmax is only on 54 workers. He is incredibly committed this time around. Oh, Dark just can't hang on. He is overwhelmed. The, the unit's lost tab is going to be gross. Oh, my God. What the hell? That is brutal. Three units for 71. All right, all right, all right. What the hell's going on, everybody? Max Max on the top left side of the map. That was a great game one, but now he's going on to Sight Delta, a map that can be rather tricky, and he's sending a probe out at the very start of the game. Wow. Dark in the bottom right side. He's not going for a 15 hatchery, so that should get blocked. Pylon on the low ground does go down at 19 seconds. Not bad. And returns a single load of minerals before coming back down to build the gateway. Now, Dark has not sent his drone out. You meant to send it out at 35 seconds so that you can get to the third quicker so your hatchery is not too delayed. But Dark, often when he gets blocked, he just basically builds a bunch of drones, goes to 18 supply, and then he goes and hatchery blocks. And that's exactly what he's doing. He waits for the probe to come in, and then as he tries to scoot around it, if Max Max were to start pylon blocking here, he actually could really ruin this build order. I mean, it's still such a late hatchery. It's a very inefficient build order. But because he messes up his opponent's build order a lot with that drone, which, look, Max Fax is scouting for it. He, he knew this was a chance. He knew there was a chance this was happening. Now he's stopping the hatchery from getting down in the best position. And he pulls three probes. You only need two, though. As long as you keep one in front of it so it can't place the hatchery, you will get rid of him pretty quickly. And Cybercore goes down. Drone heads into the main base. His probe is also harassing on the other side. Dark just attacks it. And he actually gets the kill because Max Max is busy multitasking. He's trying to block the uh, the gas steal from going down, knowing that Dark wants to gas steal. This is actually a lot of distraction that Dark is getting with Captain D-Head over here. For those who don't know, Captain D-Head, uh, normally Terrans sometimes work harass. Protoss often work harass. Zerg almost never do. Many years ago, I decided that any drone that gets microed an inordinate amount, a silly amount, just to piss off the opponent, is, is always forever in my mind going to be nicknamed Captain D-Head. Because that's his goal, is just to be a D-Head. Just to get in there and be annoying, be a nuisance, just disrupt. And, uh, you, don't, you love to see it, you know, especially Zergs who are always getting their minerals harassed by Protoss. So he kills the probe on his side and he's still hanging around, running in circles, just being annoying. He's going to lose the drone, but he's going to force the Adept to go into the main to clear it up, which already allows him to skip Zerglings at home. So he's saying, I'm happy to lose this drone. You have to come up here to defend. And it's this sort of this sort of annoyance that Dark loves to excel at. Look at that. It's just forcing him to micro. And he says, Haha, huh, I didn't build a single Zergling. My queens are kind of late. Because I went, I went, you know, uh, a little bit late for the, the hatchery and then the spawning pool. Queen does pop out in the main. Natural queen now. Third queen is on the way as well as four Zerglings. And look at this. Max Pax is in such a defensive mindset. He's not even prioritizing getting across the map. His Adept shades are desync, so he's only shading one Adept at a time right now. And he's not getting over there to punish how delayed Ling Speed is. Dark, with a lot of success so far in this match. Second gateway is on the way, as well as a third gate. So this is a very safe opening. I think Max Pax felt like he might be getting all in and decided to play three gate for safety. He now builds a very delayed Stargate. Oh, 
Guys, this build order has absolutely no teeth. Max Max has been disrupted, and he is behind, I believe, after this opening. Hey, he might cruise his Adepts well, though. Does manage to get rid of, uh, like, four Zerglings? Three? And the Adepts do shade away. Yeah, if he can shade those Adepts out, save him. That'll be great. And indeed, he does. Back on the other side of the map, Overlord sees everything. There is a Stalk here. Dark has seen three gateways. So he's going to make a Roach Warren nice and early. Dark does not know about the delayed Stargate. So you know what? If he sits on three Queens and no Spores, the delayed Stargate actually could do very well for Max Max. For Max Max, though, even though he's now chronoing Oracles, I would say his priority has to be getting that third base up. And Dark, when he plays against weird things, Dark solves every complicated problem in the same way. Hammer smash. He basically just says, I don't know what you're doing, it's confusing. Most Zergs would overthink it and not know what to do and over drone. I'm just going to do a Ravager Ling all in. I'm, I'm building a ton of Overlords, we're going to make a ton of Roaches, we'll morph them all into Ravagers off these three gases. It would just kill you with Ravager Ling. And uh, how about that? You can have fun with that, Protoss player? You're going to have fun? Seeing no drones on the third is already a bit of a tell that Max Max needs to watch out. He's going four gas. He's building up to a second oracle. The Ling's going to scout it. Dark. Big brain Dark knows what's happening. Adepts do shade backwards to safety. Even with a shield battery, you will not be able to defend Ravager Ling on your third. You need to pull back to two base. If you defend the third, you lose this game, Max Max. But he doesn't know it, does it? His oracles come across. I'm not sure if he saw the Zerglings rallying. And those Roaches and Ravagers already getting to the north. He does need to start morphing Ravagers, does Dark. An extra Overlord for him would be nice as well. And at this point, save your energy and go home. No, don't turn the lasers on. I don't think it's worth it. You need the energy to survive, mate. Ah, you got to realize every game against Dark should just be waiting to see the sign of the all-in and then pulling back to defend. Give up the third. Do not fight out there. Do not fight out there. Okay, this is all right. This is all right. He's going to shade most of those depths to safety. He's going to kill a lot of Zerglings. That Oracle will run out of energy. These two Oracles used so much energy on the offense unnecessarily. And you definitely want to clean up the Zerglings rather than the Roaches, I would say, with the Oracle. But the Adepts and the Stalkers are going north, so that's okay. And the Adepts and the Stalkers are going to do all right here. Pretty good micro for Max Max, but that third base will die. There's no way he defends that from the Reinforce. And look at that, he's lost his Oracle's energy. Oh, the Stalkers are going to go down. These Ravagers will finish morphing. Only one of them died. And that's why you stay on two base, my friends. Because Dark is always more all-in than you expect. He's always more all-in than you expect. Dark's ZVP has looked very flaccid in macro games recently. So you've got to be on high alert against these sorts of moves. But he's so good at hiding them, he hits such odd timings. And uh, catches Max Max completely off guard. I think Max Max was less decisive on his reads because he had to intuitively make up his build order. After freaking out in the early game and going 3-gate into delayed Stargate. It's an unfamiliar order for Max Max, and so I don't think he had his eyes focused as much on Oh God, Dark's all inning me, as he was on just figuring out his basic build. Well played by Dark though, nice timing. Alright, 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 Sidestorm Gaming's Max Max in the bottom left. Had to give up the third base, but it's hard to make that call. It never feels good to give up a third against Zerg, but Dark was so committed with that attack. Didn't even walk queens across, just roaches, zerglings, ravages, and that is... A hard attack to stop. But if you stop it, you're way, way, way ahead. Now Dark is like, oh, you blocked my base. Oh no, I guess I have to take the rich gas. There's a lot of scary Ravager attacks that come off that gas. That gas counts as two. So if you can actually play completely gasless and then just take this gas, put three workers on it, it's like you're instantly mining two gases. It is dangerous. You're defending a base all the way out there. But I actually don't mind that. I think it's really good if you're not playing top pro gamers. If you're playing a top pro, it's probably insanely hard to get away with. Apparently the Void was attacking his own gateway. I didn't even catch that. Wow, well done, chat. Cybercore first. Cybercore first for Max Pax, guys. He wants to chrono two adepts over and deny the mining on that base as early as possible. Dude, Dark's getting his workers bounced like crazy. Finally does a little bit of counter micro. But uh, definitely something where Dark seems to struggle with uh, keeping those. You see another worker gets bounced. Another worker gets bounced. Oh my gosh. Dark's losing a lot of minerals right now, guys. And you can see, look, this has allowed three workers to stack on a farm mineral patch, which is really bad for Dark in the long term. 
because it means that mineral patch will mine out really early, while these mineral patches down here only have one guy on them. If Dark doesn't fix this up, this is going to hurt his income for the rest of this game. Oh my gosh, and Dark is the kind of guy who usually doesn't fix that up. He just, he never looks at these details. Dark has just taken so much damage to probe harass and his own lack of attention to detail. Two of his close patches only have one worker on them. Oh no, that's very bad. And he just pulled one off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dark, this opening sucks. The Adept's getting in there. Dark's someone who usually wins games when his opening sucks though. The Adept does take out his Zergling. Oh, taking massive damage. Drone with a quick Spore Trick uh, and a Cancel. Hey, the Adept doesn't really find any damage. And the Zergling's pulling the second Adept into the main base. Three Zerglings have gone down. But that slowed the Adept getting across the map, which is massive. He hasn't taken the purple gas yet. A lot of Zerglings. Oh my god, he's massing. Is this a Ling Flood? There's no wall off. This, this is a Ling Flood. It's a 21 drone Ling Flood. It's old school, baby. It's old school. He has an Adept in the wall right now. Baxbax is so focused on denying the mining. His Adepts are getting jumped on. He's going to try and take out a drone. He loses the Adept on the right. The Adept on the left is shading back. But guess what, guys? His wall off is not up. Oh my god, Dark. Oh, he gets a gateway. If the probes can kill these Zerglings, then he might be able to do it. Oh, the probes buffering. The probes buffering is huge. It's huge. He gets the emergency wall off up. It's not a wall. -off. It's not a wall. It's not a wall. Any holes of gold for those Zerglings. They slide right up in there. Oh, you need one more pylon. Oh, he gets it. Okay, he does get the rewall now. Oh, but he's just got no firepower, guys. He lost all three adapts. Those are his only units that do damage. Warp gate's on the way. But he's going to have to... He's, yeah, this is a problem. It's a real problem. Oh, man. He hasn't found the money to start the adapts yet. He's got to pull off gas, I think, a little bit. Does Max Packs. Because he's so low on minerals. That Oracle slowly gathering energy. Dark has done so much. Honestly, if I was Dark, I'd just go back to droning. Because that's the easiest way to get ahead here. But he might be able to just win the game! The Oracle denied that 36 out of 37. Oh my lord. And Max Max needs to put a pylon down. He didn't have the money. He's going to rebuild the cyber core there. And battery overcharge. He's got a micro on the pylon in the gate. He's got to heal the gateway as well. Got to heal the gateway. Oh, the gateway goes down and they're in again. They're in again. Max Max goes down. Dark with some cheeky all-ins. Unsurprisingly does take down a Max Fax, catching him off guard and just getting the advantage. Well played by Dark.